We step back and look at the big picture, and I've tried to explain this to you, but Dak Prescott, we got a big sample size now because we're a year and a half in. He has already generated 52 total touchdowns to only 13 turnovers. That's a ratio of four to one. That's the greatest in NFL history. That's beyond what Aaron Rodgers has done at a 3.25 to one ratio. Check back with me right? in 12 years. All right, all right. But but I'm saying I, I'm seeing this path, and I've told you before. I think he's on a Hall of Fame path. It's early, you can say, but I think we were getting a pretty good sample size because we continue to see that Dak Prescott is, has become the quiet rock, the trustworthy rock upon which the new Cowboys are built, as opposed to the old Tony Rom Romo Cowboys, who were always high risk and high reward and mostly high risk because Tony was more negative than positive. And Dak is the flip side of Tony Romo. And I can't demonstrate it any better. You remember this play early in Sunday's game? Right? When Laura, it was actually late in the first half. Mm -hmm. Remember when it was seven to three and Dak got sacked and they're backed up and all of a sudden it's third and 15 from their 13 yard line. And who is on CBS commenting on the situation? Tony Romo. And what did he say? Oh, you got the sound down. I'll have to clue you back in. Okay. Tony Romo is asked by Jim Nance, well, what, what would Jason Garrett usually do? What play would get called here? And Tony said, and I'm just paraphrasing, but he said, oh, Jason would, would tell Scott Linehan, let's run the ball here and let's just punt it and get out of trouble here, right? right? And what did they allow Dak Prescott to do? He drops straight back and throws a rocket into trouble and traffic to Des Bryant for 21 yards and a first down that got them out of jail. The next play is the scramble rollout, throw it up off one foot up the sideline to Terrence Williams for 56 more yards. And then how did he cap off the drive? He ran it in on third and 10 from the 10. He runs it in to the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. Is that not sensational? Is that not Sports Center highlight worthy? But nobody talks about it. We we didn't even talk about you that. You talking about it? That's yeah. enough. Okay. But I'm they... saying that's Dak Prescott for you. That that's the guy who who has changed the whole culture in Dallas, Texas. But because he doesn't have a signature, because he he never says anything controversial, because he has no rough edges, nobody can really quite get their arm around. Dak Prescott I, as a superstar I, I quarterback. Feel about can I can <coughs> I go now? You gonna give me a chance? Well, I, I didn't leave you much room. Hey, don't, don't worry about it, Joy. To answer Joy's question, no, he's not. Mm. He's not play, playing better than Carson Wentz. Oh, please. Uh, as a matter of fact, can you ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Who's Ozmaker Vegas has mm -hmm. the MVP? Well, he is. He's the midseason. Who, he's eight who, and one. Who is it? Eight and one. Okay. You think he will? Okay. Win a, win a bet on I, that? I've already said it. Yeah. He'll finish higher than Dak. We've already got a bet on that. Oh, we do. Okay. He, well, he, let's double it. Okay. All right. He's okay. not play, he's not playing better than Wentz, mm. Tom Brady, mm. Drew Brees, or Jared Goff. Mm. Jared Goff just threw who's the NFC player of the week last mm. do you remember Joe, it was Jared Goff. Mm. Who Three, has the higher QBR than any of those guys? Who has a better who has a better, who has a better record? Huh. I uh, told you. And, beat it. and he beat your guy in his mm. building. First of all, can I ask you a question? Mm. How do you get your hands around Carson Wentz? What is he known for? He got no signature move. He doesn't do this. Oh, he's from North Dakota State, and he's big strapping hunter, fisherman. Everybody loves him, and Doug Peterson called him the next combination, Peyton Manning and Brett Favre. That's enough. He, first of all, Dak Prescott is not even the best player on his team. Mm -hmm. In the last three games, Zeke Elliott is averaging 130 yards and has five mm -hmm. touchdowns. Everybody goes into the game. How do we stop Zeke Elliott? Mm -hmm. You go face the Patriots, how do we get to Tom Brady? You play Philadelphia Eagles, mm -hmm. how do we get to Carson Wentz? Breeze and golf. Like, now, now, golf does have, he does have Todd Gurley in his backfield, mm -hmm. so they try to stop him. So, but he's not playing better than Jerry Goff. Mm. But that's neither here nor there. Mm. But this, they go into the ball game. How do we stop that eating machine mm. who is 2-1? Let's put the game in Dak Prescott's hands. And what keeps happening? W's keep happening. All I know is this. When, when Zeke Elliott averages four point more than four yards mm. a carry, mm. we already know. Undefeated. Mm. When he does it, mm. we already know, Skip Bayless. Mm. And here, here's something. Dak Prescott is 22nd in the NFL in yards per attempt. He's behind the guy. Let me ask you if you know him, uh, Joy. Blake Bortles. What about Andy Dalton? What about Who Josh cares? McCown? Who's got the better QBR? Who's Who the more effective player? Who's the better Carson player? Wentz. It's, it's Carson Wentz. Okay, so his QBR is 73 and Dak's up at 81. What about really? the record? What about the record? Wow. What about the record? I want to talk to you about the record now. When QBR...
I look, told you. At, if you, at my if restaurant. You, if you take the driving force out of the defense, if you take Sean Lee out of the defense, and Dak Prescott gives you a big lead at halftime against the Rams and then against Aaron Rodgers, you, you can't win the game because the defense can't stop the other quarterback or running back Dak in the second Prescott half. Dak Prescott job is not over at halftime. Mm. And I told you in my restaurant, I serve wins, losses, mm. and water. Mm. Mr. Bayless, what would you have today, sir? Can Dak play safety? No, he can't play safety. Can Dak, he play middle linebacker? He probably could. Just because you have 24 at the half doesn't mean you can't score anymore. Mm. You're, you're allowed to score 24 more. So against the Rams, the Cowboys had the ball for 11 minutes in the second half, and Jared Goff and Todd Gurley had it for 19 minutes, 19 to 11. Hmm. And yet okay, Dak what, wound up the game with the QBR of 70 better than Jared Goff. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, Do you know, you know what? Mm. Tony Gonzalez might have had a lot of better stats than I did, but at the end of the day, who won the game? Mm. So if I won the game, I had the better day. That's mm. how it works, Skip Bayless. See, I love how you like to say QBR when it re relates to your guy, Dak Prescott. But when it comes to anybody else, we say, well, how many? What, what did he do? Did he win? Mm. Now, see, you see Michael Jordan. Oh, Michael Jordan is 6-0. and oh, Look at his record. Now, all of a sudden, it's QBR. Mm. You're trying to find a way, Skip, but all well, I I'm know is... I'm not trying to find a way because it, it, his QBR against Aaron Rodgers was 97. Did he beat Aaron? No, but he threw a perfect pass to Terrence Williams, and it went right through Terrence Williams' hands and went right to a DB who walked into the end zone with it. It was the turning point in so the let game. Me, let me ask he you, got Green Bay back in the if, game. If you don't mind me asking... When defensive coordinators, when they face the Dallas Cowboys, do they say we need to stop Dak Prescott or do we need to shut off Ezekiel Elliott? What do they say? Well, obviously it's twofold. No, you need to stop both of them. Because if you, I don't know, you're, well, you're going to let him throw? Just let, me, let him throw. Let me ask you a question. Please let him throw. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, he'll when, just pick When you, you play the New England Patriots, mm -hmm. what are they stop? What are they trying to stop? Are they trying to stop Burkhead or Deion Lewis or James White? Which one are they trying to stop? Well, first you're trying to stop the run. Well, you are. You're trying to stop the run. Anybody's trying to stop the run first. Yep, you ain't just, now stop. Huh? Stop doing well, that. You well, covered the game on. too long. You know when you play, everybody says, how do we get to number 12? When you play Drew Brees, how, how do we get? How many times have I seen Bill Belichick look at a defensive scheme and say, you know what? It's LeGarrette Blunt's turn today. Or it's Deion Lewis's turn today. That, they'll do it. Skip. They'll run it Skip. more than they throw it. What you decide yeah. is not what the defensive coordinator is trying to do. You don't determine that. I'm telling mm -hmm. you as a defensive guy what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. What you decide to do, that's you. Mm -hmm. But they go play the New England Patriots. Ask Von Miller if he okay. worried about uh, James White. Well, well then the they're ball. all fools because they haven't seen the obvious that Dak Prescott is turning into Brady-esque kind of quarterback because it's ball control. Why Who can drive it? Nobody can drive the ball better than Dak Prescott because he'll go 13 plays, 75 yards. He'll go 14 plays, 82 yards. That's that's how they operate. It's this, hard to this do. This is all you need it's to know. Hard to this do. is all you need to know. You know. Jerry Jones is so afraid that you lose Ezekiel Elliott, he's trying to oust the commissioner to make sure he has a guy. That's in, not why he's doing that's what, it. No, that's not why. Tom Brady took his punishment. Tom Brady took his punishment because you know why? He said they got this the without me. The time ran out. No, it didn't. You don't know what you're talking no. about. The time ran out. They were poised. They had it all set up to take it to the Supreme Court. Why not? And Tom Brady finally said, we have spent so much money, and I've spent so much of my time and focus okay. on this lawsuit. Okay. The season is upon us. Okay. I'll just suck it up okay. and take the four games. Okay. And okay. I'll be on a mission, well, okay. and I'll well, make the commission. Okay, well, well, huh? hold on. If your guy is that guy, why is Jerry Jones moving heaven and earth? He hired this high pro guy that's argued mm -hmm. before the Supreme Court, the mm -hmm. guy that defended Harvey Weinstein, mm -hmm. and also, Skip, mm -hmm. you remember now, he was in the firm that helped the NFL mm -hmm. negotiate the con So, oh, I'm mean, talking about a, he got a big, he got a hired gun. Now, mm -hmm. that is a true definition of a hired gun. He got this man threatening... How you threaten to sue your bosses? You threaten to sue your other partners. Well, he's done it before. Yeah! I, I got no problem with that. Because mm -hmm. what was it about, Skip? Again, he sued them mm -hmm. because it was about him. He wasn't trying to make the NFL better. I'm trying to make me more money. Mm -hmm. So let's not... At the okay. end of the day, I'm telling you as a defensive coordinator, and I know I've been spent a lot of time with them, they trying to stop Zeke Elliott. Mm -hmm. If you stop Zeke Elliott, like I said, Skip, if I shut down Zeke and Dak Prescott throws for 350 mm -hmm. and three touchdowns, I walk to the middle of the field and say, mm -hmm. you're a hell of a game, young man. Mm -hmm. But I don't see that happening. Mm. As long as that old bit 2-1, 2-1, ooh, when he start eating, yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. that play fake. All of a sudden, how, how that bootleg. How much was he eating against Aaron Rodgers in that playoff game when it was 21-3 to 3 Green Bay? Then who started eating? 
I think number four started. Okay, what did he eat? And he ate. He didn't and he get ate, dessert. And he ate. He didn't get dessert. He, ate, yeah, he didn't he get did. dessert. No, he, did. no, he, he, he didn't ate get to move on. 300 yards worth. He got 31 in points. In order to worth. get dessert, you got to move to the next points? round. Wow. You got to get to the next round, so you didn't um, get no dessert. And all them Brussels sprouts um, and asparagus, and, they, um, and, apple, and, and Aaron Rodgers pulled the apple pie right from up on his. Oh, he had it. Mm. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.